Hello friends, it is good to be with you again this week. Well, we're lucky now the cold weather has passed and we're now in the first full week of Lent, a time of letting go and taking on as we grow spiritually closer to Christ. The sermon series Reverend Jean is using this Lenten season is called Give It Up. Lots of times we give up chocolate or ice cream or TV or social media, but Reverend Jean is taking a different approach in her messages. She is looking at destructive attitudes and habits, destructive spiritual practices that we need to give up. This week, her message was giving up control. I hope you've been able to be with us in worship this week, but if not, I invite you to visit our website, fumcbellavista.com, or our Facebook page and watch the recording of either the traditional or the contemporary service. Many of us want to maintain control. We want to feel like we know what is coming. We plan, we make lists, and when things do not go as planned, our whole lives may feel like they're coming apart. We may go into a tailspin. Not everyone is like this, but those of us who are find that we do not trust and accept as well as we should. This holding on so tightly can lead to a prison within our spirits as well. We uh, do not trust and accept the Lord's provisions and we miss out on the unexpected beauty and goodness of those provisions. If we're determined to be home, here's an example, determined to be home in 15 minutes, you know, I'm on my way, I'm going to be there in 15 minutes, and we stay in control of that, it's very possible that, that we might miss out on the beauty of a sunset along the way by not being willing to pull over and, and just to pull the car over the side of the road and just to gaze at the splendor of what we see. Children are very good at this. They stop and pick the daisies all the time. But often adults forget how to do to do this. As adults, there are many times we just need to let go and let God. There was a recent upper room devotional about holding on too tightly and how we can how that can get in the way of, of the joy of life. The author bases her message on the scripture. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. So I'm going to read this to you to start. And know that I'm reading from the Amplified Bible translation today. It's not one I normally use, but I liked how it added some extra words for clarity. So this is the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. Now Jesus called together the twelve disciples and gave them the right to exercise power and authority over all the demons and to heal diseases. Then he sent them out on a brief journey to preach the kingdom of God and to perform healing. And he said to them, take nothing for your journey that might encumber you. Let go of things that encumber you, in other words. Neither take a walking stick, nor a bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not even have two tunics apiece. Whatever house you enter, stay there until you leave that city to go to another city. And as for all those who do not welcome you when you leave that city, shake the dust off your feet, just letting go of all ties with them. And so the disciples began going from village to village, preaching the gospel and healing the sick everywhere. So a scripture from the Gospel of Luke, and we give thanks for the gift of this scripture. The devotional message in the upper room is called The Junk Drawer. It is written by Maddie Falk, who lives in Texas. And by the way, I can relate to this junk drawer. I have too many of them. So I hope some of you will be able to relate to this as well. So here is the devotional reading from Maddie Falk who lives in Texas. Every time I opened the junk drawer in my kitchen, I became stressed out and frustrated. I could never find what I needed and the clutter was unbearable. 
Finally, one day, I decided to clean out that jam-packed drawer. In doing so, I discovered that I was holding on to a lot of unnecessary items that I had tossed into the drawer because mm, I might need that later, or I just can't get give that up yet. In reality, I didn't need those things at all, and they ended up as burdens, making the drawer a cluttered mess. In life, I carry around my own personal junk drawer, filled with harbored hurts, worries, shame, sin, you name it. I lug it around every day, avoiding dealing with the contents, but also refusing to let them go. Reading today's quoted scripture, I realized that for me, the yoke of slavery was symbolized by the clutter of my inner junk drawer. Now, every time I open my newly cleaned drawer, I remember that I don't have to hold on to uh, the things that hold that I'm holding so tightly, to the things that weigh me down, and instead, I should give those things to Christ, for living in Christ will set me free. Please pray with me. God of freedom, God of joy, Help us to rid our lives of those things that weigh us down, those things that enslave us. Maybe it's control, maybe it's anger. It could be so many things, but they enslave us and keep us from the joy of our abundant life. Help us to let go and let you take control. Thank you that Jesus has come to set us free. Help us to walk in that freedom. It is in your holy name that we pray. Amen. Bye, friends. We'll see you next time.